August 14th, Saint Eusebius, priest and martyr. In the reign of Diocletian and Maximian, before they had published any new edicts against the Christians, Eusebius, a holy priest, a man eminently endowed with the spirit of prayer and all apostolic virtues, suffered death for the faith, probably in Palestine. When the emperor Maximian happened to be in that country, a complaint was made to Maxentius, president of the province, that Eusebius distinguished himself by his zeal in invoking and preaching Christ, and the holy man was seized. As he was being interrogated, Maxentius became furious with his constancy while he was placed on the rack. Maxentius then ordered that his sides be torn with iron hooks. He then sentenced him to die by fire at the stake. But his unusual serenity, when going to the place of execution, caused him to be summoned back to the tribunal. The emperor, Maximian, being himself in the region, the governor went to him and told him the prisoner asked to be taken before him. The reason for this was that there had not been any recent edicts published against the Christians. Now, Maximian was by birth a barbarian, and one of the roughest and most brutally savage of all men. Yet the undaunted and modest virtue of this stranger, set off by a heavenly grace, struck him with awe. He desired to save the servant of Christ. He asked, What harm is there that this man should adore the God he talks of as his superior to all others? However, the brutal Maxentius would not listen, and then, like Pilate facing Christ, the emperor Maximian told the persecutors of the accused man to judge the affair themselves. Maxentius therefore sentenced him to be decapitated. Eusebius, hearing the sentence, said aloud, I thank your goodness and praise your power, O Lord Jesus Christ, because in calling me to prove my fidelity, you have treated me as one of yours. His martyrdom occurred toward the end of the third century. Let us learn from the example of the saints, courage in the service of God. He calls us to endure suffering of body and of mind, if it is necessary to prove our fidelity to him, and he promises to support us by his strength, his light, and his heavenly consolation.